Uh, the topic that I'd like to address is the Class Act repeal being taken up by the House. I understand that Labor HHS Secretary has indicated that from her point of view, the Class Act will not work. And uh, this is music to my ears during the Obama health care debate. One of the revenue raisers was the Class Act, where the federal government would be in the long-term uh, health care insurance business, and supposedly we'd be collecting period, uh, premiums over a decade. It would allow like 80-something billion dollars in revenue that would help pay for Obama health care. But uh, eventually, you'd have to honor the payments due to people who are on the program. And the uh, sec uh, Senator Conrad from the North Dakota called the Class Act a Ponzi scheme of the first order because what you would be doing under the program is collect premiums for an insurance product, use the money to help pay for Obama health care, and when the people who are ready to get their services uh, that they have uh, paid for, there would be no money in the program to pay them because it's used to offset Obama health care costs. And it's just not a practical idea. The cost would explode over time. There'd be adverse selection. So it was an ill-conceived idea. Uh, the House is going to repeal it. The Labor HHS Secretary said that they would not implement the program. I hope the Senate will allow repeal so we could take it off the table. And it's a reason for the Congress to revisit the, uh, the Affordable Health Care Act, Obama Health Care, because one of the components of the legislation relied upon the revenue to be collected by the uh, Class Act to offset the cost of Obama health care, trying to make it uh, revenue or deficit neutral. That is no longer a viable option. The money to be collected by uh, the Class Act is never going to happen, so that money cannot be used to, to make the uh, legislation deficit neutral. So I, this is a chance for the Senate working with the House to repeal the program, and I think it'd be wise for us all to sit down and try to reevaluate what does this mean in terms of the viability of the Affordable Health Care Act, because the assumptions made about the Class Act really are never going to come true. Uh, so I've been working with Senator Thune for a very long time to keep this program from coming about. And I would like to say this is a bipartisan moment where we've stopped a program that would have devastating effect long term on the country's finances and would do very little to improve health care. So I want to, one, congratulate the Labor HHS Secretary for understanding this program is unsound, and I would like to make sure that it is repealed, and I think Congress should be the body to do that. But this is good news for the taxpayer, it's good news for the country as a whole, that we're not going to allow a program to be created that's unsustainable, that's going to add to the debt and do very little to take care of our health care needs. It was a Ponzi scheme. It's a Ponzi scheme that needs to be buried uh, politically as soon as possible. So I look forward to taking up the ha House passed legislation. I hope we could get bipartisan support in the Senate to make sure that what Labor Secretary Sebelius said never happens, that the Class Act uh, never becomes reality because it's an unsound, unwise, poorly constructed program. And this is a chance for the Senate to come together and do something about it with our House colleagues. So with that, I yield the floor and no, uh, note the absence of a quorum.